everyone welcome to another random talk sunday and today i thought it'd be interesting to address um my personal thoughts into why i don't necessarily like purchasing things online apologize this video had to be delayed unfortunately it was pretty busy over the weekend but i should be caught up as of the end of monday so um basically uh, there is just a certain amount of skepticism that I have in really investing a lot of um, time online and into really purchasing things online. I mean, I like looking at things online, you know, like just, you know, kind of window shopping, I guess you could say online. But as far as the purchasing goes, it's it's a really it really is a rarity that I do uh, go to that level. And I think there are a variety of reasons uh, for for me really coming to this conclusion. Um, and one being, I really do not like the uh, information that you can expose yourself to online. I mean, once you type in your credit card, your um, whatever else you have to purchase something online, it's probably going to be there. And somebody can get a hold of that. And it's a real hassle when they do get a hold of it. So I really think it's just not worth, you know, putting all of my private information on there. And then somebody can just go in and try to find whatever they want to find and figure out exactly what I want to purchase, you know, make false purchases, you know, do whatever they want to do. Um, and... Again, I just like to have a certain level of privacy, um, and it's, I think, just doing it more so within the retail setting is, uh, again, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot less of a, it's, it's a lot less invasive, um, and obviously, you know, you can pay cash on, uh, on, using or just going to a store, you know, I mean, with online, you know, you have to use some sort of electronic, you know, you have to use a card or something, you know, that can be transferred using electronic means. So uh, again, I think it's, that's why I just, one of the main reasons why I just tend to avoid really purchasing things um, online. And um, and the thing too is, is, is I, I, I have a feeling that if I were to purchase things online and I were to get them, I think a lot of the time I would have to ship a lot of things back because I'm one, it's not that I'm picky. It's just, there's just some things that, you know, they show you online and it's not the same as when you get it. So you have to go through the whole hassle of having to have them ship it back and then you have to go and find something else. Whereas if you just go to the store and find it, you get it and then you're done and you don't have to worry about it. Um, and you don't have to constantly go back and forth on your purchasing and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, it, it's just a, a real hassle that I don't really like putting up with either and the thing is too is this and this also is something that i think uh, leads me more to go out to the store is the fact that i can actually physically see it you know i can hold it i can touch it i can feel it i can see if this is a good thing to buy whereas if online you have no clue you're you don't know if what you're going to get is in any way shape or form of a quality of what you actually want to purchase so again, it's that online space is so really limited in uh, you actually being able to see things. And the thing too is, is, is sometimes, you know, people can really like embellish what the product looks like online. You know, they can make it look all nice and pretty and fancy and whatnot. But then when you get it, it's really this cheap, you know, ugly looking thing, you know. So that's why I really don't like that. Uh, having to just res resort to just a picture or a couple of pictures of what supposedly something looks like um and having to decide just from that oh okay all right yeah okay i'll purchase that <laughs> 
And another thing too about um, actually going out and shopping is, is I get to go outside and I get to see people, you know, <laughs> and I actually get to observe people. Um, and I like doing that. And I don't mean that obviously in a really creepy way at all. I just mean that I like to be around people. In other words, I don't like to be on my computer all day. I mean, I already do that for the majority of my work. I would rather be outside and, or at least go inside a store with our people instead of being at my computer looking for hours for things. Um, you know, it's, it's just more, I guess, just fun and just, you know, you can get off your feet and you're not just sitting there trying to find what you're looking for. Um, and you can actually go and try things on and people will help you find whatever the heck you're looking for. Um, even though sometimes, unfortunately, people can sometimes be not as helpful. Uh, but yeah, I think that's also another thing. Another thing too is, is all of these online reviews that people do, a lot of them are very misleading because sometimes they pay people to write good reviews on something. You know, they they have it, uh, you know, the companies have a huge incentive to bolster their online reviews and make them look good, you know, and you could have a product that's supposedly reviewed by so-and-so many people that they say, oh, it's all great. And then when you get it, it's it's not really all that great. So it's really one of those things where, you know, I just, just by those online reviews themselves, I really don't trust them all too much either. And again, I don't even trust some of the negative reviews either on certain things, um, considering that sometimes even the negative reviews don't even really explain why they don't like something. They just say this thing sucks. <laughs> like they won't even explain. Okay, so why does it? Why is this thing horrible? Oh, okay. You know, it's 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 really uh, frustrating to go online and do that. Whereas when you're in the store, it's more likely that you'll be able to, I think, at, at least figure out if what certain brand is there that would work and that would be good. And they even have, again, the physical, again, the physical object displayed in front of you. And you can actually look at it and look through it and say, oh, okay, this one looks of good quality. Okay, I'll buy that one. You know, I mean, you don't have to rely on somebody else to tell you, yeah, that thing is great. So that's, uh, that's another thing. And, uh, and also uh, the thing too is, is with all of these, uh, companies like Amazon and whatever clothing store and whatever department store, you know, you have your own accounts where you go in and you, you know, you purchase stuff or whatever. And to keep track of all that is just annoying. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it and I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> you know, I would just rather have, you know, just have the stores that I go to that I know are good and just buy my stuff and then leave. You know, I mean, that's that's really all I, I would want. And I wouldn't want to keep track of all the passwords and, you know, deal with any of the the online banking or any of that stuff. You know, that's just a waste, a waste of time and just a complete no reason for me to to bother with it um and yeah I'm I, I I just I'm just a very simple person I guess I just don't and again it's hilarious because I'm part of sort of the more millennial generation yeah I'm supposedly supposed to be online all the time but to be honest I really don't think being all online all the time and purchasing stuff and you know doing all that is really all too much my thing i prefer just to observe things online and then actually go purchase it at a location or something um but that's just my honest my honest thoughts on it i'd be more than happy to hear what anybody else has to say and if they prefer shopping online or if they prefer going to the store or whatnot uh but those are just my honest opinions and why i just tend to avoid uh really purchasing anything online but Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.